Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Coleman Lantern 337BH. This is a fantastic bunk model. You have a slide in the bunk room, plus dual opposing slides here in the main living area, which not only help to open it up, but also allow for a kitchen island right in the center. Let's go. Let's actually start off right here on that kitchen island. So a couple of great things about having it. The first one is the fact that you get all this additional prep space, which is why most people like it. The sink is located here as well, high rise faucet. Because you have the seamless countertops, it allows for the undermount bowl with the large bowl on the left, smaller bowl here on the right. Nice clean look to that sink and it's the, the preferential setup for washing and rinsing dishes. You also have electrical outlets on both sides if you need to plug anything in and plenty of storage right up front. On one side, you have a bank of four drawers Nothing huge, but you know, it'll suffice for your flatware, some of your other utensils. The bottom drawer here is a little bit deeper than the other three. And then storage underneath the sink. You'll see you have a built-in shelf also. Underneath there is enough space for a small trash can. Moving around to the kitchen slide out. You'll notice the Norcold fridge freezer combo. Open that up for you so you can take a look at the space there. There is plenty of room. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Taking a step a little bit further back, you see more big countertop space right there. Electrical outlet over to the side as well as dual USB ports. You'll see that the backsplash is actually a panel. It's not just a sticker they stuck on the wall. So that way it is a little bit easier to clean if you ever need to replace it or you want to put, you know, like a tile backsplash up or something, you can certainly do that as well. Uh, you will also notice the recessed three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Simply fold that up and back. This of course kind of helps double as another backsplash there. Opens up your three burners. The knobs do light up and you have an oven underneath if you want to do some baking. Plenty of storage underneath including right here you have big storage for pots and pans. Two more additional drawers. You will see these ones are much deeper than the ones in the island. You also have storage right up top, microwave, and then a hood with both a light and a fan. And then midship is this uh, kind of like little bar top area, which I really enjoy. If you want to put a coffee maker here, have like a little coffee bar, you can do that. You have an electrical outlet there. You know, if you just want to put decorations here, by all means do that as well. There is a light, LED light there, so it lights up. A little bit of storage space underneath, as well as good storage right up top. Rounding out the main living area, so across the way is the other slide out. You will see a large U-shaped dinette here that way. There's plenty of space for the family to sit around and have a meal together or play a game together. You'll see I have good space from my legs to the tabletop. You know, it's not sitting right down on top of me. Same thing here. I have plenty of space from, you know, my, my midsection to the table itself. Uh, also, this does drop down into a fairly decent sized bed. So if you have additional adult guests that need to stay the night, you can just remove these legs right here. Table drops down, throw some of the cushions on top. That will create a bed where two adults can easily sleep. You'll see the accent lighting underneath, which is pretty cool. You can turn that off. The switch is on the wall right there. And easy access to the storage on the one side. Just have the swing open door. Moving over a tiny bit further is the jackknife style sofa. So additional seating here, the armrests are removable. This center cushion does fold down so it creates kind of like a pseudo theater seating. So you have armrests on both sides making it a little bit more comfortable to sit in. You will also notice the uh, cup holders there. So you have two additional cup holders. Also, take a look at the slide height, folks. I do want to mention this. I'm six foot tall. You can see I can stand up in this slide without hitting my head. That's a pretty big deal in a travel trailer. A lot of times the slide's are a little bit shorter and you don't get that high of slide boxes. Underneath there, you will notice a good additional storage. Now this one does have this little panel that drops down. You have a little handle here. Just pull it down like so, so it's a little bit easier to access if you, know, you don't want to have to hold it up with one arm while getting to your pillows, blankets, or whatever else you store down there. Entertainment center is located on an angle. You'll see exactly where to mount the TV. 
Uh, in this camper, I do recommend getting a swivel arm mount just because that way you can kind of turn it toward the kitchen or toward the dinette, a little bit more toward the sofa there, just get a little more utility out of it. It does also come with the multimedia center right down below. This is your radio CD player and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it in there, plug these guys right in the back of the TV, turn on your auxiliary light there. Main control panel, you will notice your tank monitoring panel here as well as your slide controls power awning there too. Storage underneath as well as storage up top. And then you also have a coat rack right there in the side. So we take a step back into the bunk room, you will see these slide out houses two of your bunks. The top bunk here is 150 pound weight capacity. You can see you can lock it in the upward position. That way you have access to the dinette right down below. This of course gives the kids a place where they can, you know, have another meal. If you have a big family, it gives you a second table. They can also play games back here, which is wonderful. And this does drop down into an additional sleeping space. You'll see the USB port there in case the kids need to charge your electronics as well as an LED light. On the back wall, you will notice again another electrical outlet there as well as a tiny bit of storage right down underneath here. But hey, any storage is good storage. A window in the back letting in some natural light. And then here on the campsite is the third and final bunk. 300 pound weight capacity on the top bunk. It is a little bit wider. You have built-in steps to climb in there. You will notice there is storage behind those steps. They're fully utilizing that space. Uh, if you want a TV, this is where the TV would go. It's not a huge space, but it is there. Your connections for it are right up top. And then, of course, drawers underneath. Over here to the side, if you take a look, you will see big storage. This one has the storage rod, or hanging rod, rather, right up top. So it gives you a place in which you can hang your clothes. The bathroom of the 337BH is located toward the front of the camper, and as you can see, it is quite spacious. Right up top, you have storage here. It gives you a good spot if you want to, you know, possibly throw some of your towels or extra toilet paper, black tank chemicals, things like that. Right down underneath is the foot flush lever toilet. I have plenty of space for my shoulders as well as for my legs. Over to the side is the Neo Angle shower here. One of the things you'll notice right away is the fact that I'm six foot tall and I have plenty of space. So even if you're, you know, six two, you're probably not going to have to bend down in here, which is wonderful. The 2020 comes with the fancy new shower curtain, has all the campers on there, hand wand here right behind me, as well as a couple shelves. Right outside the shower is your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that, electrical outlet, decent sized countertop and sink top there. Little bit of storage underneath. You will also see right down on the floor, you have your heat duct. That way it'll stay nice and toasty. And as one lady uh, pointed out to me a little bit earlier, it's not next to the toilet. So, you know, helps keep things a little bit cleaner. You'll also see your AC duct right here in the ceiling, as well as your vent fan. The master bedroom features a queen bed right in the center. You'll see both sides have large nightstands with drawers as well as electrical outlets and USB ports to plug in all sorts of different kinds of electronics. Right up above that, you have mirrored wardrobes with hanging rods, a shelf connecting the two right in between. If you notice up on the ceiling, you will see a vent here. This is prepped for a second AC, so if you want a second AC in the bedroom, uh, it's already braced for it and pre-wired. And over to the side is where you will have a TV. You can see the sticker there so you know where to mount it and the proper connections are on the ceiling. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Coleman Lantern 337BH. Right up front is the power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle because you have the rocker switch here to easily lift and lower the tongue. You will also see you have a light right up front for added visibility at night. Directly behind that are your two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. And a little bit further back, you will see rails there for your battery, as well as the diamond etch plating here on the front, helping to protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. As we come around to the side, you will see this one has solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. For the pass-through storage, it is magnetic, so it sits there just like that. You don't have any plastic tabs or anything or clips that are going to break off if the kids forget about it. And if you take a look inside the pass-through, you will see that it is quite large. You have the same size door on the other side. 
you can easily fit some of your larger chairs and grills in here. You'll notice the fresh water inlet is located right up front. So if you plan on going somewhere, you don't have city water hookup, you want to make sure you fill your fresh water tank and that will be the place to do it. This unit also comes with power stabilizer jacks. This front control here will control the front too. There's another one in the back to control the rear too. Now bear in mind folks that these are not auto levelers. They are just stabilizing jacks. So you want to make sure that you still level the coach out using blocks. Then once you get it there, you can lower the stabilizer jack so the coach isn't rocking when you're walking around inside. One of the things you can also kind of see underneath here is that this one does have a fully enclosed and insulated underbelly, which will help keep things a little bit colder, or sorry, help keep things a little bit warmer in the cold climates, as well as hopefully keep out some of the critters and stuff in the off season. Power awning on there, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. It does cover your entrance as well as the slide out here. Has a LED light strip, so you have light at night. And directly underneath are two outside speakers, which are controlled by that multimedia center inside. But that unit is Bluetooth capable, so that way you can sit right out here and be able to somewhat control your music. Electrical outlet. Outside shower with hot and cold water access and black tank flush right above that to help wash out your black tank so you don't have to stick a hose down your toilet. You'll see the LCI solid steps on this camper and they are exactly that. It's a very solid step system. Folks, I'm over 200 pounds. You can see I can bounce up and down on here and the steps hardly flex. You'll also notice the aluminum tread, which is great because it's not going to rust. You have a little bit of grip tape on there for added traction in case it's wet and adjustable feet so you can adjust it to the height of the campsite. Making our way to the back, one of my favorite parts about a bunkhouse, of course, is the outside kitchen. And that's exactly what you have here. So you'll see the big countertop space, which is wonderful. You have an electrical outlet off to the side. You know, I've seen some people that, you know, they kind of build like their own little bar out here if you want, because you have the space to do it. Otherwise, you know, it's a, again, just excellent countertop and prep area. Sink right in the center, so you have uh, some secondary water access, not just the outside shower on the camp side, which is nice, because a lot of times it's on the off door side, but you have both hot and cold water here as well. Storage right up top, plenty of room up there. You'll notice your uh, light there as well, so if you need to see things at night. A couple of drawers here. These are full extension ball bearing drawers as well, so you get that full extension. You know, they're not stopping right here, which is, again, great to have in the outside kitchen, not just on the inside. And then your fridge. This, uh, this is obviously what uh, you know most people want the outside kitchen for. It's where you're putting all your beverages, your condiments, everything else right out there. As far as cooking, you will see there's a propane quick connect right down underneath. You have the grill arm on the back here, so that way you can fold your grill right around. Or if you have, you know, one that you preferred, you can obviously hook your own grill right up to that quick connect. Your city water inlet will be located right in the back. So if you have city water at your site, that's where you'll plug it into. Cable inlet right over on this side. Right up in the top center is the backup camera prep. So if you want backup camera, uh, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. You also notice a square tubular bumper, which is a great spot to store your sewer hose. And right around on the other side is your 50 amp detachable power cord. Again, this one takes a 50 amp because you have that second AC prep. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Coleman Lantern 337BH. If you're interested in this family travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.